Whew, man, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we are taking a test drive of the Mark Tremonti MT15 by PRS. This is a pretty amazing, amazing amp in a 15 watt to 7 watt package. I'll tell you all about after I tell you about how I'm recording it. So fittingly enough, this is my stock PRS um, Dave Grissom model. I'm running it uh, directly in um, with a Klotz cable and the amp is powering their own proprietary uh, cabinet with it. We're micing that with a Royer R115, R121, sorry, R121 that's going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So basically, PRS guitar, PRS amp, mic, Pro Tools, the universe. A little later on, I'll try my Oddball SE1 so you can hear some other pickups on it as well, but we'll get to that later. So here's the basic ingredients. This is a 15 watt amp, but right now, because it is really loud, I've got it down to half power, so seven. Um, but it's kind of amazing how loud, I've got 15 watt amps and they are not as loud as this. This is like, uh, you could drown out a drummer uh, with this amp, which is amazing efficiency. So here's the details. Um, the tubes, there's six EC83S preamp tubes and two 6L6 GCMS power tubes. Two channels, controls across the front are a three band EQ, treble boost and presence and gain. There's an effects loop, which I do have hooked up to this um, reverb slash delay. We might get into that a little bit later, but cool to have an effects loop, pull that stuff. I love, I love plugging straight into an amp, but to be able to have some toys like that through the effects loop is just, I love that. Um, adjustable bias, something I never really get into, but I'm sure some of you nerds out there will dig that. Uh, it weighs 17 pounds, which is incredibly light, and it's got, also comes with this foot switch for changing channels, and here's my favorite part. Red, that means you're angry. Blue, that means you're cool. So let's start with the clean tone. Now granted, uh, Mark Tremonti, you don't usually think of him as a clean player, but they, they really dialed this in. Love the dirt, but dig this clean. Kind of nice and dreamy, add a little bit of verb to it. Where it gets really cool. Put on the bridge and engage this treble boost. Love that. There's a three band EQ across the front, but I find this treble boost kind of a secret weapon. Let's go back to where we were. Great, right? Now, let's give a little goose in these mids. Love that. Just a, it's clean yet aggressive, if that makes sense. I mean, and really clean. Okay. And we're only on seven watts right now. Again, um, on 15 watts, you're gonna get more of that. Well, what the hell, I'll flip it to sliver over right quick. Okay, here we are on 15. <laughs> okay, it's really loud at that point, but man, I like it even better. Just great. I'm gonna go back to seven to quit torturing cameraman Perry there. He's been taking quite a beating <laughs> on, these, on these films. Uh, so we'll bring that down to a more moderate mid-range and let's boost that bottom end. See where that gets us. It 
it's almost like there's so much bottom in, I can hear stuff rattling in the room. So love that. Again, treble, put that way out there. Wow, on the neck, it's amazing. Whew, okay, a little harsh on that bridge, but pretty incredible. So love that, love the clean channel. Let's get into the dirt where this thing probably should live. that loud right there and it's just so alive amazing um eq same thing very very responsive i've got the treble down a little bit but let me make it flat see where that gets us That's a lot of amp. Um, just for shiz and giz, right now I've got that, the gain at a pretty modest point. Um, let's put her halfway so we get. For shiz and giz, let's just dime that pig and see what that does. And to get truly crazy, let's just bring everything up. Okay, that's a little much for this room, but you get the idea. That is all the gain anybody could ever hope for. And it's got really a lot of sizzle up top, which, you know, you listen to some of those old recordings like Van Halen back in the day, there's, there's a lot of high end in that signal when, they, um, when you do the isolated tracks. Anyway, great to have those tonal options. Let me try a different guitar so you can see what that sounds like with that. Okay, now I'm playing my SE1. That's been jacked up a bit, but there's a Strat pickup there, DiMarzio, and a mini hum here. And it really gets kind of a stratty thing. I mean, that's a, just a great clean tone. Bring this presence up a bit. It's been kind of ignored over there. Nice, right? And a little bit of dirt. Like an angry god. Anyway, pretty amazing amp. And I'm amazed that this thing is so tiny and so loud. Oh, for the record, the cab is a uh, the MT112 60 watt um, with Birch construction of Celestion 30 in it. And it really barks it. The two of these together really is a great combination. And and also it's it is a surprisingly affordable amp. Um, 
anyway to read the full written review go to premierguitar.com they'll give you the rest of the details while you're online make sure you like us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel uh instagram twitter all that social media jazz we'll just wear you out with stuff i'm gonna bring that i'm gonna bring down that gain a tiny bit because it's too much for me it's so loud <laughs> it's john bolger till next time <laughs>